I'm going to keep making these videos. But what I'm going to stop doing is pretending that COVID is going away anytime soon. <sighs> well, hey there, my quarantiners, my snow angels, and all other board house spouses of the Wicked and Pagan YouTube community. It's me, your boy Shane. And I'm back today with another video of how to keep that boredom at bay. Um, I started making these in early 2020. My first video, I had brainstormed a list of like 40 kind of witch themed or witch adjacent uh, kind of ideas to keep yourself occupied while we were all supposed to be in like, you know, lockdown or isolation for, uh, you know, for a couple of weeks. Um, and as we all know, <laughs> it's now 2022 and um, some things have changed and some haven't. Um, I made a follow-up video a couple of months after the uh, initial video with another 21 ideas, um, you know, for people who were struggling to still stay at home and kind of getting that cabin fever. Um, I've come up with a couple of ideas since then. Like I said, those videos were almost two years ago at this point. Um, and what I've come to realize is it's not just good for, um, you know, for isolating due to COVID, but also, you know, if there's a snow day, if there's a bad weather day and you're stuck at home and you're kind of crawling the walls, um, or any other reason, or maybe just as a, like a group bonding activity, something that you want to do with friends or your coven or your magical study group, um, kind of together. So I thought, uh, it was worth sharing an additional nine ideas and I hope you enjoy. Go on a nature hike or at the very least a long walk. Um, you can do this solo or you can take a friend. It's just so important to get out into nature sometimes and take it all in. And you'd be amazed at, even if you live in a city like I do, what is just an hour or two away by car or by train. Um, I've been getting into some magical mosaic work lately. Um, there's a lot of great inspiration on Pinterest. Uh, if you like the four elements, if that is important to your personal practice, you can make a little mosaic tile for each one of the, uh, you know, earth, air, fire, and water, and hang it on a different wall, um, corresponding with their directions, or have them on your altar. Um, if you get really into mosaic, if you really um, build up a, a good skill set, you can make something more intricate, like an entire altar layout you know, a pentacle or, you know, god and goddess symbols or some alchemical symbols. Um, this was a stepping stone I had made for my mother's garden, um, some bright, happy colors to bring her some, some joy and some happiness. And this was a stepping stone I made for my own garden for kind of like love and peace and harmony um, for our home. If you have not done so in a long time, it may be time to renew your household protections, your wards, um, all the different little things, techniques that you use to kind of protect your home and make it a little fortress. Um, there are a lot of videos, a lot of books, a lot of great resources. If you don't know how to do this, that can get you started. You can research a tradition other than your own. Sometimes it's uh, really eye-opening to see um, you know, what world religions look like or even other traditions of witchcraft other than what you usually practice. Um, and just kind of, you know, make note of the similarities, the differences, and just kind of increase your, you know, your cultural literacy. Um, you can make some magical jewelry. Um, some of it's very, very simple. Some plain wrapped loops or some really easy, straightforward wire work. Again, I find a lot of tutorials on Pinterest and YouTube. You can learn just about anything off the internet these days. So if you've never made jewelry before, you know, you don't need to worry about it. Just get a couple of beads, get some chains, some pliers, and get started. Um, stargazing is wonderful, especially if you live in a place without a lot of light pollution. Get out there and see what you can identify, which stars, which systems, which constellations at different times of the year. Um, you can brew your own beer or your own mead at home um, for ritual use, like to use in cakes and wine. Um, there's a lot of kits that are commercially available now. You can make different flavors. My cousins made like a pumpkin spice beer a few years ago for fall. That was really nice. Um, you, if you have a backyard or another large space, you can build and walk your own labyrinth. Um, doesn't take a lot of materials. You can see some of them here are just made with regular rocks. You don't have to hire a landscaper or do anything ornate. 
Um, just some patience is all it takes. Um, you can make a witchy scrapbook. This is especially great if you have a coven um, where you can all work on it together and kind of commemorate your rituals, your esbets, your sabbats, your, uh, just your fun events, your get-togethers, divination nights. Take lots of photos and put a nice album together. So that's the list. Um, I would love to know what you guys are doing to kind of keep the ennui under control. Um, what new kind of, like I said, witchy uh, hobbies or habits or activities or practices you've kind of picked up, um, you know, with your downtime in the past year or so. I would love it if you would leave a comment below and let me know. We can get a dialogue going about it. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. I understand there's a little bell icon you can turn on and it'll give you notifications when I post a new video, which um, I used to try to do once a week. Um, school is making that a little challenging, so I try to get on here at least twice a month and uh, create content that you guys will enjoy. So um, until then, take care of yourselves and each other.